yeah, this is pretty cool. We can do this thing, talk to you, tell you what we're doing, and then add in our own sound and ambient noise or whatever like that. What have you, but today we have an Alto Professional ZMX 862. Uh, it was a pawn shop and uh, 50 bucks. 50 bucks. And so we are going to. Well, it's got six inputs, which is cool. Uh, we're going to take it and make it work with our interface. Have it run through. There's a few things we can do. One of those is just uh, it's like it's noise. You just you just take the noise that you generate and work with the frequency ranges, and um, then with the effects pedals and everything else that we have, we can integrate with that. So I could take this and put it in the middle of my uh, audio chain and start tweaking with it and then have a microphone going into it and then this and that and the other thing and then all of that from the amplifier, the pedals, goes into the interface which would go into our, our DAW uh, which is our Pro Tools. And yeah, so this is definitely going to add some extra flavor into what we are trying to create and we're always doing it so uh, hopefully we'll be able to recreate whenever we need to uh, but I mean that's, that's part of the reason why we record and then we can listen to it and then we know our gear and we can figure out exactly how to do that and even then so uh, tweaking and, and mixing and mastering it and, and then making it different because uh, studio recordings are always different than live performances and even then so live performance one location to another based upon your uh, your ambience your uh, your venue the uh, the natural reverb of the location your PA system uh, things things like that is it's all contributing um, and you want to throw one hey uh, you got uh, what's that Pink Floyd it. Anyway, I don't want to misquote it. I don't want to take the time to look at it. But we did. We picked up an Alto Professional ZMX 862. Hopefully you can see that really well. Yeah, right there. And we've been eyeballing one, and it was the same, but it was at a different location. And this one seems to have it's it's got more inputs. It seems to be a little bit smaller. I know that the power, the power cord is, uh, the power source is, you know, just your regular. Huh. Interesting. Um, the other one was kind of a bigger brick, and in that aspect, a bigger brick too. Which this, we can always have another one just like it. We can split our channel chain. Uh, we have two guitar amps. And a bass, so and we have microphones. We could do a whole bunch of crap. Um, as always, as always, if I ever figure out exactly what I'm doing with all this shit, it's going to be dangerous. So, happy Wednesday. I like this shirt. Isn't that cool? We'll see you.